Uh, don't say one faster than his stride. Did you feel like you were out of rhythm with him slightly? You come again, say land one. There's not a lot of time between land and one, but there is some time. Um, 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 more. You, you go ahead, wait for me over there. See, even a bigger jump does not disturb your position now, huh? Yeah. Because you're following the motion correctly. term for the, the the period of time between two notes. Okay. Okay. And that, that we're talking about the same thing there. We can hear it in music. Da da dum da da dum da da dum da da dum. Sounds different from da da dum da da dum da da dum da da dum because the cesera is quicker, which which makes the music more intense. Huh? But it's still there. Da da dum da dum da dum wouldn't sound right. Da da dum da da dum da da dum sounds good. Da da dum da da dum da da dum is different. Be there, right, Carly? He's a good boy. Um, uh, and you and your band of merry men meet me down in the lower field, huh? <laughs>
you're slightly long range. So, slightly long range. So you're not, you're not committed up over the withers. Okay. You know, right, right into the line. But then just when you land, just put your foot on the dashboard just a little bit. Okay. So if he gets, if he surprises us, he doesn't dislike you. So you can discuss it with him. You know, as I say, I hope it does not surface. I don't want it to surface, but I also don't want him to airmail you if it does. Okay. Better toward the end and the beginning, he doesn't like to stand off. So you gallop to the jump, say, I want to go, I want to go, I want to go. And down the side, not to finally go. And he barks over the jump, which disturbs me because he barked over the jump. I agree, but I, I want you to, to come to your jumps and say, he must land going the same speed he took off. Charlie Ray, what, where are you going to count out loud? Everywhere. Everywhere, right? And guess what? You're going to count really loud so I can hear you. Thank 
come through with your waist, Morgan. Don't don't ride like that. I don't like that. You got braver and braver. I would have gone to the stick right Don't cheat on me like that. You nasty, you know, you're a Remind yourself of that. Do you, do you understand what I mean, Becca? Right, no. you know, we, we basically get three feelings from the jump. We're galloping at the jump, and it seems to lean away from us. Right. Well, kick. You gallop at the jump, and even though it's sloping, you go. You're going to step close. Sit up. Don't jump ahead of them. Keep the leg open. Right? Make sure they step into the air. The one that gives people trouble is you're galloping to the jump, everything's wonderful, and you get a few strides when you go, uh, And if if I could freeze frame there and say, okay, do you, or, do you feel that it's wrong? All you guys just say, oh yeah, until it's totally so totally If you could freeze frame it, 
you would see that you are on a perfect half stride, which is why the computer in your mind can't recognize it. <laughs> and then your, your hard drive locks up. You must train yourself. I can talk to you about it, but you have to fix it for yourself. If it leans away from you, kick like him. If it leans at you, get a hold of them and clamp your heel in the girth and wait for the short one. When it goes blank, you have to fill the blank with another stride. You're on a perfect half stride. And we should solve the half stride by, by adding the next stride because then the horse will be packaged and will jump off of its hocks rather than swan diving. Okay. Um, 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 um. I want to work up and down the square bank. I'm going to stand next to the group so they don't put their eye on it. You will come right in the canter in front of the ground, turn up the square bank, across down off, over the tree line, and come back the other way. Right lead once up and down, left lead once up and down. After you jump, come back and turn away from the crowd. Now, I want to see you that you can now change your position according to the terrain. See, everything we've done up until now, the, the first half an hour or so of the lesson, is on the level. That's fine, they're galloping, they're jumping solid jumps, they're jumping bigger things now, just like we said we would when we came out here. But now we must practice our cross-country skills also. Cross-country meaning we must be able to go across the country. So, when you jump up, let's, let's imagine you're jumping up, and we go, my old buddy, freeze frame, just as the horse's front feet touch the next level up, click. It just throws that horse and rider there. Now, what does the horse look like? Well, he's jumped quite high, and he has, his legs are straight down, reaching for the new level. See, to jump a bank, the horse must, in effect, jump their own height above the bank. They cannot, I've seen ponies can do it, but horses can't do a chin up. Okay, they can't put their feet up there and pull themselves up. Their shoulders and elbows don't work like that. They have to jump up and go like that. Then what is next? Their hind end still way back down. Their hind feet are still just pushing off the ground and their front feet are touching. Where should the rider be? Short reins in a two point. What does the rider look like? The rider looks like they're too far up the neck because their reins are short. The horse's head and neck is here. The hindquarters are still back down on the other level. And our seat is like a bat out of the saddle. Now, Let's tap super slow. The rider lands there. The horse drops its head and neck, right? And what does that do? Pulls the hindquarters up. And so there's a moment there where we, the cross country rider, must not fall back. How many of you have been told by your show jumping coach, don't sit down in the air over an oxygen? Because And, 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 and uh, they'll hit the red behind. Don't sit down in the road behind. And you'll knock it down behind. And, and uh, all of us have felt that to be true, right? Because we've made that mistake at least once. The same mechanism occurs here. Don't fall back jumping up because they will drag their head up over the telephone pole and it hurts. And it really knocks the wind out. They don't like it, and they become very reluctant to jump up because you gave them such a bad experience. If you are not sure, hold the bait. Hold yourself up there, but don't fall back. Then, remember, we're up here in our two-point with short reins. The horse's back was there. The horse's head and neck comes down. The hindquarters come up, and in the next split second, the horse brings their back you. And as you're cantering across the bank, right there in the middle, you are in the light three-point. 
we were, who were we talking about? The light three point, right? Where the, where the seated portion of the posting trot, the seated part of the approach to the jump, light three point, there we are. If we just take a picture right there and we cut out the bank, we think, oh, what a lovely picture of her just cantering across the level ground. Yes, until what? Now the horse is going to step down the other way. Now it's exactly the reverse that we follow with our elbows. Then we slip the reins, but we don't close our hip angle at all because if we did, Oh my God, we fall on our face, right? So we have to step up to the to the down portion, and the sensation we have is that we push the points of our hips forward. See, if I'm at the down bank here, I'm in a light three point, the horse steps out into the air, and then the forehand starts to drop down to the next level. And at that point, I slip the reins, I bring the points of my hips forward, and I land, click. Okay. I don't land top lean over. I don't land sitting on my tailbone. I land in the spring of my knees and ankles, just as if I were on the landing of the, of the left. Show that to me. Right lead, take your time, turn around, left lead back. And when we approach a bank at the canter, the, we jump a bank up as if it were a vertical. So you put your eye on top of the tank for a telephone pole. One, two, three, four. And your leg. Yes? Good girl. Um, 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 Jamie, you see she added more leg later. She didn't try and time the horse from out here. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, leg. Good. Okay, away you go, back up. back and you thought, oh, I was pretty good going that way. I want to be really good this way. I want to be really good. Oh, Dave. No. You want to be really, really rhythmical. Good. Look through his ears. Don't look along his neck. Land with our feet still underneath us. 
is the stirrup leather is still vertical and that accepts the shock of landing. You guys snow ski? Ow, water yeah, ski. Yeah, water ski. You jump the weight, you jump a mobile, you dip them in on your way back down to the surface. Get the auditors to step back to the board uh, fence. Jump the smaller ditch. <laughs> Turn the coop. The bank off the bank. Turn the bigger drop. Turn back the bigger ditch. Okay. Tell me where it's up. Sally. Five. They're going to come yeah. right through there. Okay. Now, if I could get the auditors now to step back to the board fence, or ma'am, you're, you're fine there, or I hope you're fine there. <laughs> you guys on the uh, Giants chair, you should be fine there, unless somebody gets loose. Okay. Miss Ann, sick them. Don't have a knockdown at these banks. There you go. Good, Ann. A little stuffy right here, but good otherwise, huh? Come on. Look, look where you're going. so he gave it up.
a good ride at the ditch, huh? He was thinking evil thoughts going away from me. Yes, you see how brave he is all of a sudden after you beat the you know what out of me for being cheap. Don't look down, that money on the ground is mine. Back and forth again. Golly Ray, back and forth again, the big side, the big ditch, circle back and forth again, the big end of the ditch. If he misbehaves, beat the bleep out of him. He's a bad boy. Look at the back of the ditch, ride to the back of the ditch, kick, kick. Good boy, pat him a lot, pat him a lot, pat him a lot. What a good boy. And again, see, we're talking about discipline. We're talking about a consistent pattern of behavior. We point him, he jumps, we pat him. One, two, three, heel. Good boy, again. how much braver he got immediately when you got on his case at the first ditch. Yep. And right away he was like, yes ma'am. And then here he felt you be tentative and he went, yo Jim, I own this woman. <laughs> right? And he misbehaves for a minute until, yeah, look at me sucker. <laughs> until he thought, you know, she's going to hit me until I do right. And immediately Back and forth again. some work on ditches, huh? Yeah. Jamie, he's gonna need some work on ditches, right? I mean, we're, we're gonna go on today, but, but that was barely acceptable. 
Okay, we have to practice them until they gallop up to it and step over just the same way as they do everything else. Okay, so file that away. Remember to talk to Rick about it. Yep. Say, you know, I was almost wonderful everywhere except at the ditch, and he was a real weenie there. Okay, uh, and back and forth over the log on the lump. What, how big is the palisade? Is that is that training or prelim? Palisade before the. It's actually a corner. Yeah. Oh, it's a corner. corner. Never mind. Just the log, just the log on the lump once each way. Okay. And you know what's next, Rebecca? Heading out there. Oh, yes. You know, a criminal always returns to the scene of the crime. I ate my Wheaties this morning. Ma'am? <laughs> I ate my Wheaties this Had morning. Had a girl. Oh, it's one thing riding people chase, chase horses in college, Tommy. Gotta hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Who'd you gallop for when you're in uh, A guy named Tom Kerwin. Sure. What did you, both of these horses going away from me over the log of the lump, what did you notice about them? Going, going away from home the first time, the log on the lump, what did you notice about them? It seems like they like took more time yeah, going Yeah, they're over just it. a little bit sticky. So, you have to know that and be prepared for it, right? And, and don't think I can make them stand off. Chances are not. They don't want to stand off. Why? Make sure. See, when they go up that ramp, all I see is blue sky, and they want to make sure there's grass on the other side. Then they get all the way there, and they go, "Oh, silly me!" Click. And they don't usually give you much feel. That's Ann, Ann and I were kind of laughing because coming back, he really jumped. Mm -hmm. Well, they don't usually do that. You know, it's a good sign. I like it, but but it's 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 slightly unusual. Okay, so you know what to expect. Now go make it. And if it doesn't happen, you beat on him until he comes up with the right answer. I was going to volunteer to help her with that if she needs it. <laughs> Jamie, going away from me, you have to let your inner bitch out more of the big coop back into the field, the one on the right-hand side that we haven't schooled that direction yet. 
Okay, and wait for me over by the gravel pit, or whatever you all call that thing. Yeah, that We haven't jumped on either one of these. Uh, yeah, we've only jumped in one direction, so jump with the other. Okay. Yeah, has he jumped Yeah. Cool. And just stay over there. We're going to go over to the, uh, whatever you call it, quarry or the gravel pit, whatever. Yeah, he, I mean, he might bug me off down there, but he's being good. That's...
Just start again, we're good. Don't chase him, but just be there with your leg. He should step down in at the same speed that you approach. At the last second, he'll pause. Keep your leg. Add a girl. Walk forward. Repeat that in a moment. <laughs> just let, let him catch his breath, Rebecca, and then we'll just repeat the whole pattern again in a moment. Okay. See, he, he's coming this way. He started to dig like that. And you picked your hands up like you wanted him to tow you. No, he's, he's falling behind the bit already. Meaning we have to... Oh, come on. Oh, no, no. Oh, I'm not going to put up with that. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> it has to be that quick, Doc. I'm, I'm not in a rage, and I'm not goofy. But I'm going to act one way or another, depending on the house. Yeah, starting it. Don't you do that. <laughs> Get ready with your sperm. Sperm. Go, go. Oh my goodness. What a jumper. Did you see him jump the full golden You don't have to kick yet. Get ready to kick. Kick. Kick, 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 kick
and then it gets more active. 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 Good job. Dang. <laughs> Left it way on it. Almost didn't get the water. <laughs> Sorry. Just to have it. Yeah. <laughs> 